dear friends this is rv shegar practicing competency tree today i am going to discuss about the uh, it is very precarious to be an in ip uh, as ibba levies a whooping fine of rupees 34.22 lakhs on rp resolution person for dereliction of duty say iba penalize rp or ip for making EMI payments to HDFC during CARP violating the moratorium rule. In the matter of Mohan Lal Jain, who is a resolution person, and in the matter of Mark Soft Tech Private Limited, it has been observed from the minutes of the third COC meeting later on 16th March 2018 that RP had sought approval from the COC Committee of Creditors members to continue making payments through EMIs to HDFC Private Limited Bank as one of the financial creditors of the corporate data. After obtaining approval from COC members, the RP continued to make payments to HDFC during CIRP, which is in violation of Section 14.1e of IBC Code, which says that transfer and disposal of any of the assets of the CD is prohibited during the CRP that is moratorium period. IBA imposes a penalty of a whooping penalty of rupees 34.22 lakh on this RP who, who holds that RP displayed at, and the IBB alleges that RP displayed after misunderstanding of IBSC provision. I, IBB is telling that RBA doesn't know the IB, I, IB provisions, IBC provisions and uh, compromise the independence by continually making payment to e payment of EMIs to the financial creditor HDFC from the assets of the corporate data during the CR CIRP. It notes that RP is out approval from COC members to continue making payments through EMIs to HDFC, one of the corporate data financial creditor. After obtaining COC approval, RP continued making such payment in violation of the section 14.1e of the IPC which says that transfer and disposal of any of the assets of the corporate data is prohibited during CIR, that is moratorium period, rejects RP's contention that the payment of EMI was made as per the facility agreement and thus the same is not violative of the section 14 while remarking that IBC an exhaustive code dealing with the insolvency law and therefore in the event of an in, in, inconsistency between a covenant and a IPC, it is evident that the latter would prevail. See what they argued is in the event of an inconsistent between a covenant and a IPC provision, the latter would prevail. Referring to the RP submission that payment of EMI was a routine business transaction in the in order to keep the corporate data as a going concern. IBBI observes that repayment of loan by way of EMIs to the financial creditor is clearly a financial activity which cannot be regarded as an ordinary course of the business of the corporate data or even necessary to keep it as a going concern. Lastly, with, ref with regard to COC commercial wisdom, Rule, it IBBA rules that one, the decision of the COC to ratify and approve the payment of e EMI to financial credit or in preference to other creditors. This here here preference has been shown to HDFC in in preference to the other creditors and also to authorize HDFC Limited to continue to recover the future EMI payments from the surplus funds available in the bank account of the corporate data by no stretch of imagination come within the purview of the commercial wisdom of the COC and goes against the basic objective of the IBC insolvency in the bankruptcy board of India said in its ruling. So in this case, uh, by the, because of this case law, the IRP is now very, have to be very careful. They should know what is their limit. They cannot say that in the, the payment has been made in the ordinary course of business because all payments to any creditor during the moratorium period is prohibited and RP should, should as a, a knowledgeable person in IBC law, he should have known this. Now, uh, BBA has come and NCLT has levied a, a whooping fine 
this has to be taken into account of by all the rps who are working for that in this area thanking you my dear viewers if you like this video please like share it and uh, also request you to share subscribe my channel so that whenever i issue a new video on any subject it will come to you directly thanking you rv shagar practicing company site